Okie dokie. Oh, morning everybody, and time and it's and it's cast time once again. And um, this one here, it's either gonna be a really short one or a really long one, depending on how things go. So, I'm just speaking off the cuff on this. I don't have a whole lot pre-planned or anything. So, for the most part, I'm improving this. And but yes, there is gonna be some moving parts on this. So, just get ready for some goops here and there. And because I couldn't think of any, couldn't think of any other music I wanted to play in the background, and the few I did didn't pan out for one reason or another. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and have some uh, dark ambient or a dark ambient live stream going in the background. I have this going fairly often when I stream. So those that have seen those that have seen me stream, this kind of music will be very familiar to you. Um, yeah, model rail repairs. Enjoy your stay in the mist blocks. And I am kind of risking this. One, there's animation on this video, so it's already going to jack up my file size. And um, some of this ambient music is actually copyrighted. I don't know which. So, but I have, I have played dark ambient um, on some of these casts, and my video has been copyright claimed. So, but like I said, I can't think of anything else to play. So, this is what I got to go with. Okay, so to start with, um, the usual gems of Warstream. Um, I played, I played some, like I didn't. It was like all PVP this time. Um, and then for the short amount of time that I was playing it off stream, same thing. It was all PVP. So, and then I, I did do my dailies this morning. So, which I, it was just something I just started doing recently, getting all the dailies taken care of now. That way, so when I actually do stream in the afternoons, I can just go, I can go straight to P PvP or, or if for whatever reason, if for whatever reason I have to cut the stream short, then at least I would have done the dailies and get them out of the way. So. I think there was something else I was wanting to say about it too. Oh, but yeah, like I said, I didn't. I didn't play that much outside of the night. I gotta turn that down a bit. Okay, but anyway. Um, but I ended up having a, I ended up having to stop at some point because um, a, guy named, a guy named Jake Ryan, um, one of my longest standing followers, I think we've known each other for, I wanna say at least six months he um he gifted me a game called Inscription. Um, I started playing it, and this is a I actually saw I actually saw this being played. It was a demo um, on a channel called Alpha Beta Gamer. You guys might have heard me mention this channel before, but it's it's the place I go for like new games for new indie games that that have just come out, and they're not they're nothing major or serious or anything like that. They're basically they're probably just made in someone in somebody's studio apartment, you know, one person, you know, that kind of thing. But even then, it's still some great stuff to look at, though. So, and one other thing I did forget. And one other big mistake I made. So, let me get to work on that. Okay, scroll down. Anyway, um, I did about a, a half hour, 45 minute let's play on that. So we're looking at it, we're looking at it probably about at least an hour and a half just for it to get uploaded because it had such a huge file size, like seven or eight gigabytes. I mean, it was almost as big as one of my stream bids. So, but, <sighs> oh, excuse me. But, anyway. So yeah, they, you're looking at so looking at about three hours of uh, of uh, getting that all uploaded and processed and all that, and then for at least an hour and a half, I can't really do much else because 
I've said this in other casts too, but uh, uploading videos, it uses a good chunk of my computer resources, so I can't really do a whole lot. I mean, even when playing Gems of War, my game lags from time to time, so... But uh, one thing I did do while my video was uploading, and... Retard! What the fuck? Okay, uh... Let me... And already I'm screwing up. Sorry about this, folks. But anyway, one thing I did do while uh, while my game was while my video was uploading, um, Emperor Lemon actually put out a new video about home movies. And uh, I did I didn't uh, I didn't watch the entire video, but I remember this being a being a show that I saw like once or twice, like back in the '90s, 2000s. I didn't really think much of it then. It, it 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 just basically went in one eye and out the other, but I guess uh, there were a lot of complaints about the poor uh, about the poor video quality, but it it didn't bother me. Um, I mean he was I mean I mean sometimes I had rather I'd rather watch animation like that than the kind of animation that they're showing these days. You know, it's just really really slick overproduced for lack of a better word you know intricate detail that kind of thing I mean sometimes I just want to watch ghetto cartoons you know oh. okay hang on a second But um, one thing he one thing he did say about the uh, wait, the I guess the whole synopsis of that show was of uh just uh the main character try actually just trying to make home movies, but a lot of them are like really really poorly produced and all that. But yet he keeps right on trying. Sounds like me streaming. It just you know I've been doing it for five years and it's just you know lots of trying and failing, lots of you know. Trying to find out what worked and what didn't and whatnot. So, so on one hand, it's, it seems to be a pretty relatable show. But like I said, I'm just going off of Emperor Lemon's synopsis of it. I watched uh, season one, episode one, and like like before, it just went. It all just went in one eye and out the other. I mean, it didn't it didn't suck or anything. It just wasn't anything. I mean, nothing I'm really into. It just, I don't want to say I didn't get it, but I guess I was just, I was just indifferent to it. You know, but, uh, but, but like I said, apparently it was, uh, it was a pretty critically panned show. Again, just really, the animation was really bad and stuff, that kind of thing. But like I said, it, it didn't bother me none. You know, sometimes I'd rather watch that. Sometimes I'd rather watch that cheap stuff than like, you know, you know, anim you know, cartoons that take like several departments of people in order to work, you know, or you have to have a damn small army to make something like that, you know, that kind of thing. But yeah, I think uh, all the animation here, I believe it was all done by one person, uh, Brendan Small. He was also the creator of Metalocalypse, which I didn't know. Yeah, that was. That was something else that was a little high opening. The same guy that uh, created the Metalocalypse show is also the guy that created home movies. I never knew that. So. so. There's something else I was wanting to say about it, too. I can't remember what it was. I 
I, I can't remember. Oh well. Um. But um, aside from that, I also watched uh, watched some more Planet Earth 2 while my uh, video was uploading. Or, yeah, while my video was uploading. Um. I think I had just finished up the uh, Shallow Seas. And I was about to do... I think the next episode is like Temperate Forest. I think that's what it was. Well, like I said, I was about to start on that, but some something, something distracted me, or I had to go do something else. I can't remember what. But uh, in this time, this time around, in this episode, um, he didn't skirt the line of uh, or it didn't sound like he was about to do any environmentalism PSAs or anything like that. I've said this in my other cast too. It's one of my biggest uh complaints about some of these nature shows is they're often ruined by uh, environmental stuff. Like mankind is polluting the environment. Soon, this particular species will become extinct. You know, that kind of thing. You know, I don't want to hear that shit in the show, despite the fact that I actually do agree with a lot of it. So, but yeah, but in this episode here, he didn't do it, so... But uh, a big one though, um, I found this. I found this article, and yeah, I'm, I'm definitely with Jessica Wildfire on this one. I mean, I kind of take it seriously because most people don't. And um, and um, I'm probably going to be repeating myself. I, I'm probably going to be saying the same thing that I've been saying in my other cast. So, just to give people a heads up. Yeah, I I don't want to play this. I don't want to play this. I don't want to risk. This is just going to make it even more likely that my video is going to get copyright claimed. So. Uh, they're not worried about the Omicron virus. They're belting out Mariah Carey Christmas songs and declaring their freedoms. But I don't want to. I don't want to go too in depth in this. But yeah, I'm definitely with her on this. And um, a few days ago, I went grocery shopping and I completely forgot to put my mask on. So, so yeah, even I'm kind of take you know, even I'm kind of worried about this because I mean, I went in just I think it was like six six thirty p.m. So it was still pretty busy. A lot of people out that weren't wearing masks. So. Uh. A boring apocalypse. I can see it. Nothing has changed at all. Or what they're also doing is they're they're probably saying, "Oh, I'm probably immunized. I'm okay." No, you're not. Not with this new virus. Hell, the Delta virus. Uh, as far as I know, uh, the vaccines weren't as weren't or were only partially effective against the Delta virus. And with this new and improved Omicron virus, your vaccines probably don't mean diddly squat now. So, hospitalizations are rising once again in 37 states. I, I don't know if Minnesota's one of them, though, but I know in my neck of the woods, I think last of luck there's, uh, there's 1,200 cases in my, you know, around where I live, so yeah, I'm. It, I mean, hell, even uh, even at my job at Walmart, um, ever since the, uh, ever since the pandemic broke out, they're, they were talking about like having like one or two people in in the place I work, being up uh, testing positive for COVID. So yeah, it, I, I yeah, I gotta kind of worry about that. But like I said, I don't really want to go too in depth into this article, unless it's something that really jumps out at me. <laughs> oh, this kind of this kind of reminds me of this uh, video um, I talked about in one of my earlier casts. Uh, a guy named Do Not Eat. He had a I watched a video of his about the. Uh, 
about Elon Musk uh, called The Loop. And one of the... One of the concepts he mentioned, I think it was in, uh, in, in the engineering realm, or the engineering field, called AM-FM. Um, there's two different things. One is uh, AM is actual machines, and the FM is fucking magic. Like the kind of, like the kind of crazy ideas that Elon Musk, like uh, Elon Musk and others of his ilk, like these really crazy crackpot space age ideas, are all fucking magic. They never take, uh, they never take the AM portion of it. You know, actual machines like, like you know. But like I said, kind of, I mean, again, you, I you. If you've seen my other, if you've heard my other cast, um, you'll probably know what I'm already talking about. Like, it's what happens when people have the infinite bunch cheat. They just kind of go hog wild with the, uh, they go hog wild with the ideas, they go hog wild with the inventions. It's what I do not eat, and uh, others like him would refer to as fucking magic. This kind of, yeah, this. Our, ma our magical thinking, yeah, that. Yeah, so just kind of kind of mentions this as well. Fucking magic. Natural immunity. Um, and uh, that was that was something else too. Um. I think, uh, I think it was right when the COVID virus first came out. Um, they were saying that uh, you could, I mean, you're, uh, you could transmit the virus without having any of the symptoms. So yeah, you, so yeah, you could spread that disease to other people without knowing you have it yourself. So. Freedom. I think on uh, the movie, uh, the movie I watched, uh, Merchants of Doubt. I guess back in the '80s, the uh, for like big tobacco, big oil, and stuff like that. When uh, when they got when uh, for their media campaigns and all the uh, commercials and whatnot, that's uh, what the commercials were centered around. I want to take away our freedom, but not me. I'm gonna smoke as much as I want. You know that kind of thing. Oh, yeah, they're doing that even even today. Nope. And that's something else too. Um, they don't have this mentality in places like Korea and Japan and whatnot. Um, and I've said this in other casts too. This, to my knowledge, whenever um, whenever there's a pandemic. I mean, it's like everybody in that, everybody in those countries, they just snap to it. They get the masks on and everything. They stay home, social distance, all of that. So it's a nationwide effort over there. Not here. Masks are only optional. normal is being used to justify a new kind of tyranny over people who still have to worry about the coronavirus or being strong-armed into a mass delusion that the pandemic is over um, on up it also needs to be said too that for the longest time I have the same opinion it is ever as everybody else too you know I was a firm believer in the immune system I mean, George Carlin said the same thing. That's why we have an immune system for killing germs. But it needs practice. It needs germs to practice on. You know, so... Oh, what, what do you say? So if you're scrubbing this and spraying that, your immune systems won't be prepared for the next super virus that comes in, or, you know, something like that. But, um, again, again, uh, you, can be, uh, you can be contagious. You can spread it to other people 
without having any of the symptoms at all. So. I mean, some of these are already. And then. I mean, some of these are already, uh, like myself, I'm not that much of a people person. I'm, for the most part, a homebody anyway, so some of that doesn't really affect me much. Call me through research reports to get a snapshot. Okay, this I already do. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if my job has the boosters yet. I probably have to look into that, but if it is available, yeah, I'm getting them. Uh, I definitely wear this in public. I mean, on one end, on one end, I can see how it, how it I can see how it, it can be an inconvenience. You know, but again, um, at my job, I'm actually required to wear one. You know, technically at all times, like even when we're on lunch or break, but the thing of that is, is, um, I, I mean, I work the night shift, so there's not going to be a whole, you know, I mean, there's not going to be a whole lot of people going in and out. I mean, I'm seeing pretty much the same exact people every single day, so. But yeah, it. But what's uh, especially after the store is closed, I mean, we work, I work after hours, so after the store is closed, not not really a whole lot of people people in our store have our masks on all the time I mean if I'm uh if I'm working by myself or if I'm inside of a freezer or if I'm inside of a cooler I have to have it down just to be able to see and breathe I wear glasses so having a mask on while I'm inside one of those places will cause my glasses to fog up so yeah I have to have the mask down but again if the store is still open and I'm working you know with a lot of customers and yeah I have the mask on I must be a pretty smart cookie because it's what I've been talking about ever since I've shown this article. You know, and, and, and again, this is probably one of the reasons why we take this seriously. Because most people in this country don't. I mean, they're the, one, they're the ones carrying the virus. You know, the anti-maskers, the anti-vaxxers. Um, and I guess it kind of goes in line with, uh, with uh, Merchants of Doubt. The movie I mentioned a few minutes ago, uh, part of their uh, part of big tobaccos and big oils and whatnot, their ad campaigns were centered around "Don't let them take away your freedom. Keep buying our products." You know, it's probably one of the reasons why uh, we have such a health problem here too. You know, because most people aren't. Uh, Aren't taking the, you know, aren't taking smoking seriously. No, I'm no spring chicken either. I mean, I'm borderline obese right now. I'm, I'm a junk food junkie. But again, those that have known me, especially for the past few years, yes, I did embark on a weight loss campaign. I got it from 210 to 140, but when I got around there, I cracked. I went on a week long junk food binge. You know, just chowing down on more junk food than I ever could back when I was just, when I was just eating it recreationally for lack of a better word so okay but um I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this one though use your brain we all know you have one so but anyway but anyway, um, I'm just, gonna, I'm just, just definitely just going to go ahead and call it good here. I kind of went over long on that, but I, I think probably the big crux of this is just wanting to show that article. I should almost, I should have almost made a, made a commentary reaction video over that article. But, oh well, too late now. So, but, hey, yeah, I, I kind of went a little over long on this, but, but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. Um, despite my despite my repeating myself uh, but otherwise I oh let me out uh, let me uh, let me uh, say this I I for some reason I feel a need to say this despite me saying it during my stream yesterday um, today there is most likely not gonna be a stream 
there's not going to be a stream today, or if I do, it's just going to be a short one, like going to be up for an hour, hour and a half, and that's it. I have a Chris, I've got a Christmas dinner I got to go to today, and that starts around 5 p.m. My stream typically starts around 2:30, so I'm I'm kind of it's it, I'm kind of in that in that middle. I have a little bit of time to stream, but at the same time, probably it may not be worth it. So, but I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. So, but otherwise, I'll I should still be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. But until then, though, thanks again for listening to me, or thanks again for listening to me, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.